Hi, I'm Shanna Tay Bergeron with Colorado Mountain Medical, a partner of Vail Health. And today I am wearing my Team USA swag because we are fortunate to have two-time Olympian Chris Corning here with us um, from Snowboarding Slope Style in Big Air. And we wanted to touch on a quieter topic, I would say, something that you have called Olympic depression. Chris, explain what is Olympic depression? Well, it's kind of a technical thing here because you have so much time and effort coming into the Olympics that you put and you have so much, you know, build up that you kind of have to realize what's going on. And once you get there, it's like it kind of all blows up. But wow, there's so much going on. There's so much media. Everything is going on. And then you kind of come home and it can be really tough for athletes when they come home because it kind of just falls off. You know, a lot of people will be talking to you. How was the Olympics? How was this? And you're kind of a, a big deal. And then all of a sudden it's kind of gone. So it can be really tough on athletes and can be a lot of suicidal thoughts and drinking, depression, and so many different avenues that can happen in that depression. So it's just something that's kind of, we need to talk about a little bit when athletes are coming home. Yeah, I think it's great. You know, a mis misperception I have is that you guys are superhuman. So, you know, it sounds like reality is you have mental struggles. You go from this high of highs to the low of lows all of a sudden from nothing. What is something that the community can do? Eagle County is very fortunate. We have lots of Olympic athletes here, quite a few, um, and world champions. What's something we as a community can do to help support you all when you're in this phase? Well, I'd have to say one of the biggest things you can do is just check in on somebody, you know, a couple of weeks after they get home, a month, you know, it's just because they're done with the Olympics doesn't mean that their journey's over. They have the ability to keep moving on and have contests going on, or they're going to be back in their community being able to support the community also. So have somebody check in on them. And it's just like anything that you do big in life. If you're the center of attention and then it just kind of falls away, it can be really hard for people. So just check in on people, check in on how they're feeling. You know, it could be just have a little conversation about it. It's super easy. It's super quick. And just for a community standpoint, be proud of them forever. Don't be just all of a sudden just stop talking to them because they're, the Olympics is not around for four more years. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your insight, Chris, and your time. Yeah, thank you guys.